So let's start about the parts, right? Um, on one side, when we are in ePlan, we have a parts library. So as you know, this parts library can be set up to be opened via an access database, or what we can also do is in our settings, we can go down to uh, the default setting here. So user management parts. This is where the parts management picks its information. So personally, I don't want to use the access database. I want to use here um, an SQL server. So the SQL server that I have here, I'm using one directly on my local host. Uh, I installed the server SQL Express. That's the name of my SQL server. And the name of my um, parts here, parts database that does exist, you can see I have here the parts, okay? So of course I created it here. I usually allow myself to modify and allow um, modifications during selection, which enables me to edit while I'm selecting. So you can see now I have localhost express parts. Now the parts that you can see here are of course over the time loaded from either from the data portal. And this brings me to another aspect we often forget. When we call up the ePlan data portal, it is very important that the API here is checked, but even more important if you want the parts to be loaded in the right SQL database, you have to delete this line here, pick the SQL Express parts database you wish to use, and flip it back to your start eData part selection API. Now, never forget to set it back to default here because the default is always better to be set here. Later down the road, when we do things like insert device, it's very important. Now, if you want to read a little bit more about parts and creating parts, of course, we do have this tutorial, quite interesting. In this tutorial here, if you, we zoom down a little bit under the electrical P8, I found an interesting one that actually starts as a tutorial for beginners right up front. Interesting page that they open. And I invite everyone to actually check it out. We do have a section for pretty much everything you need to know when you start ePlan, creating a project, placing schematics, symbols, generating some auto connecting lines between the symbols, which means wires, then assign some cable information and assign some parts, okay? Or placing actually devices, which is also dependent on the parts. So what I just explained here is the central library where everything is picked from. Now, some of you may use on a different note, harness. So if you do use harness, what you can do on this side here is you can point to the same database. And this is interesting because then we share the same database. Let's say that we open a library in Harness. And how do we connect to an SQL? Well, here you create a connection. The connection here is an ePlan platform master data SQL server. And this is where you have to pick the local host, same name of server. And you have to pick here the same parts database that is used on the other side. Right? So if you're using the Windows authentication, don't forget this. Just hit the finish button and then you get exactly this. And when you open this, the interesting thing is we are enhancing the parts that are actually on the ePlan side with data that is um, related to, uh, let's say, harness. And you don't necessarily have to use and run the synchronizing here because we are using the same database. We synchronize live whenever you part, add a part here, it appears on this side and vice versa. That's quite of an interesting thing. Other informations just in the background that you may be interested in, in uh, over the uh, ePlan P8 uh, tutorials, I invite you to also go and check out here the ePlan Quick Start. The Quick Start actually brings you to this page here for the different versions. You get access to all kinds of information about the installation itself. And this brings you actually even further to the help menu. So technically here, you can go to the ePlan Information Center. And on this Information Center, which appears in many different languages, you just set the language you wish up at the top right-hand side. You will find here 
information about the installation itself, about the licensing, very interesting, very important. You find again these beginner tutorials. And if you need more information or help, you can click here on the different items that are available within the ePlan platform. Some of them, of course, related to whatever you purchased on your site. Some of them you always have access to. So thank you. This was Roland from ePlan.